Hi everybody, it's Mark the Flicking Feathers again tonight, and I'm tying another salmon fly. Uh, it's a Harry Mary variant. Um, nice simple wee pattern. Uh, well worth a place in your box. As always, there'll be a materials list in the description, along with a link to social media for Flicking Feathers. And uh, a link to the Patreon page for anybody who'd like to support the channel, get access to members only content, and be eligible for future giveaways. So I've got my hook my vice. This is a Patriot 12, and I'm going to start some black red. This is 8 out unit, and I like to just start that. I leave just about a millimetre gap um, in front of the thread and that's sort of my measure where the fly has to end um, these up eye hooks it's important not to rush the eye so you can get a good seating with your turtle knot so got a bed of thread I'm going to catch in my and so that's going to make my butt and my rib. So just catch that in. Two or three wraps will hold it. Stop my thread just about the hook point. And then I'll take it back. Four turns. And the fifth will come up between the hooks. Catch that in. There we go. Just secure everything down. Trim that waist just the length of the body. And then I'll fold the rib back. Tail is just a golden pheasant crest. I'm going to take two. Maybe. See. Uh, maybe one's off. Tail length. I mean, it's up to you, it's your preference, but say about a shank, maybe slightly longer than the shank. Catch that in. Can adjust it, tie it back to it's at the butt. Just adjust that for length, just screw it. Sneak that in just a wee bit, then trim away the length of the body. Then just quickly tidy up. A wee fibre there I've missed on the underside. Just come in, take it away. Body is just black floss. So any old floss will do, this is just uni floss. Just smooth it out between your fingers. And then what I like to do, I'll catch it and I'll just draw it back. And I'll stop just as it comes into the body length there. Then swine the floss. Up the body. You can try and keep the floss open. And get a wee shake to open it out, keep it nice and smooth. And when you come up to your thread, I like to tie it off on the underside. Now we can come up with a rib. Just turn it at the back. One, two, three, four. Takes me up nice. Obviously, if you use a thicker thread, uh, a thicker tin, so you might need to cut it one one turn less. Hi. 
hackle on this is just the uh, Kingfisher Blue. Just a false hackle I'm putting on it. You could wind it and then fold it, but um, instead I'm just going to go for a wee false beard. Nice and sparse, nice summer fly. You know, if you're we fly this size, it's good for like if you maybe you're getting a spate burn with a, a single hander. Length, I want the tips of the hackle fibers coming to just a bit in line with the point of the hook. Just pinch and loop that in. Cut to, let's just check, see how it's sitting. If you want, you can sort of spread it with your nail. Turn the butts off close. Tidy up. Now, as I said, this is a wee variant. Um, I've just added a wee bit of crystal flash. This is it's actually Fly Tires Dungeon H two O twist, and it's old gold. It's a sort of kind of ready gold, coppery gold. Just got to add two strands. Just tie it in. Fold it back, and then I'll trim them so that they're just about the length of the tail. It's a nice size I like for that. You could make it a bit shorter if you want. You know, you could come in and have the have them inside the length. If you cut them, just cut them over there. That's nice as well. Up to you. And then the wing. I'm just using some brown fox, but you can use Arctic Runner or anything you like, really. Um, brown bucktail, that's a nice size. Legend has it that the original was tied with pubic hair for the guy's wife, whose name was Mary, but I don't know if that's actually true. Um, I'm just going to take most of the guard hairs out of the, out of the fox fur. Any kind of big long fibres, and you can just roll it. Wing again, the length's up to yourself, but I like something like this just so the tip of the wing is just kind of meeting the, the end of the tail. Two or three wraps. Come and cut the butts off close. Put the thread in. Build up a nice wee head. I've got to moisten the wing there just to sort of control any stray fibres. Once it's been fished, it will really hold its shape well. But with the dry, the dry, uh, the dry fox, it can be a bit unruly. Just got to come in. Quick finish. And there you go, that's the Hairy Mary. I've just got the hair I don't like there. Just take it away. So, to finish the head, I like to super glue first. Obviously do not touch your wing or the hackle or anything. And then when that's dry, you can come in with some varnish. I mean if you're if you're in a real hurry you can use some the hair, a hair dryer or something, I just touch it and that seals that it sets off the, the glue that's on the thread, takes any excess away obviously you don't need to, you could just allow it to dry now just come in coat all the thread turns again 
gives you a nice hard head. You can give it an extra coat of varnish if you wish. After the fact, once that's set up. But there you go, nice and simple, nice and quick. Put your four of them in your box pretty quickly. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up below, and share the video. Take lines, guys. Bye.